Hey, today we're drawing a super cute penguin. So let's go ahead and get started. The top half of your paper is going to be the face with a hat. Then the middle will be a scarf. And then the bottom will be the body with the feet. So just keep all that in mind as we start our drawing. Let's start in the top section of our drawing to draw two ovals tilting in. Leave room at the top. You don't have to leave a bunch of room, but just enough to make a hat. And I may not have left enough room, but I think we are going to make it work. Then we're going to add a big circle on the top of the eye and a little one on the bottom. This is going to be the highlight. Okay. Then you can fill in the parts that are not the highlights. This is going to make our penguin look so cute. After that, let's add a triangle with the point of it going down for our beak. If you want to add eyelashes, you can. It's up to you. I'm going to add eyelashes. You can leave them off though if you want. Next, right above the eyes, we're going to draw a long, skinny rectangle right above that at the very top you're going to draw a circle this is going to make our hat so we're going to connect those two things with diagonal lines and we're just using simple shapes that we already know to make a drawing that's more complicated all right next let's draw a v in between the eyes and fill that in. This is going to be the part where the penguin's face is black and white. So the inside is the white part and the outside is the black part. It'll make more sense in a little bit if it doesn't make sense right now. Next, let's add a rectangle for our scarf. Long rectangle. We'll come back and add details to that in a second. First, I want you to add a wide curve on each side. Then you're going to add another curve. This part on the outside, we are going to make black. Then on the inside, we'll leave it white. Let's add the rectangles for the scarf where it's hanging off. Next, let's add our penguin's body. A big loop. You want to leave a little bit of room for the feet, but it's okay. Our penguin is going to be a little chubby. So big U shape. Let's add another U shape inside. You can probably guess, since this part is black, this part will be black, and then the middle, the tummy, will stay white. And then let's add the feet to the side. So, two lines, capital letter M. Same thing on the other side. Two lines, capital letter M. Oh my goodness, so cute. Now let's add our wings. It's a good thing penguins can't fly because our little penguin would definitely not be able to fly with these tiny little wings, but that's okay. All right, actually, I think our penguin is done. 
we can add some details and some designs to the scarf and the hat. Does not have to be stripes. It's just what I could think of in the moment. <laughs> you could do whatever you want. Maybe hearts, maybe polka dots. I'm just gonna make my hat match, but they definitely don't have to match. And while I'm thinking about it, the wings, we are going to fill them in. And my marker's gonna run out, but that's okay. All right, if you are like me and your marker was dying towards the end of that, you might wanna color the black parts of your penguin with something other than your marker so it doesn't die but it's done i finished it now we're going to talk about coloring it so you can add if you want a little bit of blue right here and here to show a shadow slash highlight and I'm just using these tempera sticks, but you could use a light blue marker, light blue crayon, and this is what we're going to do with it. Just right here on the side. Just adding a little bit of blue, and that is going to give the illusion that there is kind of like a shadow and a highlight on your penguin. But only add it on the white part, it won't show up on the black part. Now I'm gonna color mine, take your time, and use whatever you have to add color.